What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video was a highly requested video and it's a little bit different from what I usually post on my channel and sorry if you hear a lot of scrambling noises down there. Romper is um, digging his bed. <laughs> I have my dandelion root tea with me because I know for a fact that this video is going to be quite a long one and a chatty one because I'm going to be giving you so much information and details for you to make an informed decision about whether or not the Soul Cycle at home bike is for you. Since this video is going to contain so much information, I'm going to try to break down everything and put it in the chapters of this video so when you hover over the screen, you will see exactly what I'm talking about or you can jump around and skip to the parts that you are most interested in knowing. This was a very highly requested video for me to do a review on this Soul Cycle bike because I showed it in one of my vlogs. Before we get started, hello, my name is Amy if you're new here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Usually. I post a lot of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day to day. I post a lot of behind the scenes that you don't want to miss. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm gonna try my very best to briefly go over everything that I feel is helpful in making a decision on purchasing this bike for yourself. At the end of this video, if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to respond. The first thing I want to talk about is obviously the cost because that is a huge, huge decision factor. The Soul Cycle bike itself costs $2,500. Before in the past, financing wasn't available. However, they heard everyone yell and scream that they want financing options. So so they made it happen and financing is finally available for the Soul Cycle bike at around $64 to $65 per month for 39 months. So you can break it down and pay a monthly portion. The Soul Cycle at home bike machine itself runs with the app called Veris and I think I'm pronouncing that right but I'm not sure. Veris is owned by Equinox. I believe Equinox and SoulCycle are sister companies, I believe. <laughs> They're connected somehow. So if you want to enjoy the SoulCycle at home bike, you need to get a app subscription from Veris and that costs about $40 per month. And there is a 12 month commitment to this app subscription. For the total amount of money you pay, you receive the at-home bike to be installed in your home, as well as unlimited access to the Veris app. There is a 30-day trial period, so if you try out the bike and within those 30 days you decide you freaking hate it or it's not for you or you just want to return it and get rid of it, Veris slash SoulCycle will give you a refund, but I do believe there are some fine lines about you having to pay for the shipping back to their warehouse. I don't believe that they cover shipping when you want to return it, but you are able to return it if you would like within those 30 days. The cost does not include some particular things like your cycling shoes. You need specific shoes to clip into the bike itself. So you will need to purchase that separately either through SoulCycle or you can get from a third party company, which is what I did and we'll get to that in a second. You also probably would want to purchase a mat of some kind to put it underneath the bike, especially if you have carpet. For wooden floors, I do suggest that you get the mat as well, some type of mat to put under it so it doesn't damage anything underneath and you don't sweat all over the floor. <laughs> It also does not include any weights or any other equipment. However, you can purchase all of these things through SoulCycle when you check out to buy the bike. So you can add all of those extra accessories into your cart when you are purchasing the bike itself. I always get the question asked, is it worth it? The short answer for myself is yes. And that answer is definitely going to differ person to person. There's just so many factors that go into what makes it worth it for you. It's going to be very different for every person, but for me personally, 
I love it so much, so that's a spoiler for this video. I completely think it's worth it. I'm gonna tell you my reasons why I think it's worth it. I live in Northern Virginia and that is kind of within the Washington DC zone. If I want to take a Soul Cycle in studio class, I would have to either go into the city, which is about a 20 to 30 minute drive from where I live. And to take one in-person studio class, it costs $30. That in-class rate is going to be different for every city because every city has their own prices. I'm going to do some simple math here for you guys and I will put it on the screen as well so you can follow along. The bike itself is $2,500 and the app itself costs $40 per month for 12 months. When you do $40 times 12 months for the whole year, it's going to cost you $480 for the entire year to pay for the app. So 2,500 plus 480 is $2,980 in total for the whole entire year. Well, the whole entire year for the first year because obviously you only purchase the bike once. Going back to the $30 in studio class rate, when you divide $2,985 by $30, which is the rate per class in studio, you get about 99 classes, which means that you technically need to ride at least 99 classes on the Soul Cycle bike to make up the total cost that is going to cost for the initial year that you purchase this bike. Does that make sense? I really hope it makes sense. <laughs> So that pretty much means that you're paying for about 99 in-studio classes. In order to break even for the price that you pay for the initial year, you would need to calculate 99 classes divided by 52 weeks, which gives us about two classes per week. For the first year, as long as you take at least two classes per week for the entire year, you make up for the total cost that you pay for the bike, as well as a year membership to the app. After the first year, when you are pretty much done paying off the bike in class form, for the second year, you're only paying a total of $480 to use the Soul Cycle bike literally whenever you want, every day, however many times you want in a day. But if you calculate $480 divided by $30 per class that you would pay in studio, you get 16 classes. So as long as you take at least 16 classes for that second year and onwards, you are pretty much breaking even. I don't know about you, but if you are already a spin enthusiast like myself, you are definitely going to ride this bike more than 16 times per year. Also, another really cool perk is that you get access to the Varus app, and the Varus app is powered by Equinox. On the app, you get a lot of different types of workouts, such as pure bar, you can do hit classes, there's yoga, there's literally anything and everything you would want to work out at home and you get access to that and it's unlimited access. I hope that little calculation, math, education helped us understand how the huge numbers kind of break down in a yearly format. And now we're going to talk about accessories. I decided to buy the mat made by SoulCycle when I was placing the order to buy the bike because I really didn't want to hunt for another mat. It was honestly just for convenience sakes. And I kind of assumed that this mat was going to be specifically made and designed for the SoulCycle at home bike. So I wanted to optimize its functionality. The mat cost $75. It's not cheap. It really is not cheap. In terms of cycling shoes, you can definitely buy the cycling shoes that Soul Cycle specifically sells when you're buying the bike, but they are really expensive. They go from around 175 to about like 200 or something like that. And I personally already own two pairs of cycling shoes from TM. I will go ahead and link all the things that I'm talking about in the description so you can have easy access to get them yourself if you want to. I love my TM shoes because they are so slim and you can actually walk around in them without wobbling or kind of like walking on stilts. <laughs> which is pretty much the difference between Delta Clips and SPD Clips. I believe the SoulCycle cycling shoes have the Delta Clips, which is the one that protrudes out of the shoe, which gives you the illusion that you are walking on stilts. But the TM ones are SPD Clips, which means that it has a small little diamond-shaped clip, 
and it's kind of embedded into the shoe so when you are walking you're still walking kind of on a flatter surface so you can walk around the house in them you can walk in the gym whatever and I feel like that it's just slimmer and lighter on my feet which was very important to me so I opted out for the TM shoes instead of the Soul Cycle ones and the TM shoes are so much cuter. They have so many different colors and prints and they're cheaper. I think they go around 120. I also have a referral link for TMs if you're interested to get like $5 off or something. It's a super small discount, but I'll leave it in there anyway if you want to use it. In terms of weights, I personally use three pound weights because I am super weak. <laughs> I got my weights through Amazon. I did not purchase it through the SoulCycle website because they jack up the price like crazy. So I didn't feel the need to buy it from their website. You can easily just get them from Target too for so much cheaper and then place them in the bike weights holder. I really don't think that you need to pay a lot of money for dumbbells. That's pretty much all I have in terms of accessories for the bike. Now I will list out some pros and cons for you based on my own experience with the at-home bike. The first thing that is very, very important is that the Soul Cycle bike is so, so different from the Peloton. It is different not because one is better or worse than the other. It's just that the style of riding is so, so different. You need to figure out what you exactly want out of a cycling class and that's going to play a huge factor on whether or not you want to go for the soul cycle bike or peloton or nothing at all this is all based on my knowledge of cycling and my personal experience so i apologize if i'm saying anything wrong i'm not like a professional or anything it's just solely based on my own personal experience i'm gonna try to put this in the simplest way possible obviously there are tons of ways of describing the differences between soul cycle and peloton but I personally think that the biggest difference between the two is that Soul Cycle is way more focused on enjoying writing to the beat of the music and the experience that comes with it. Peloton is more focused on your performance and RPM. RPM is pretty much that little number that you try to meet to push yourself. In my experience, RPM based rides are way more focused on the numbers, like meeting a specific number and reading your stats and understanding them. It's just way more calculated. And to be honest, I personally think that you work out your body way more with rpm based rides than rhythmic rides however i chose the soul cycle bike over the peloton because i am obsessed with riding to the beat of the music i really don't enjoy rpm rides that much because it focuses too much on my performance it's just not as fun for me and i can't fully enjoy the experience if i am so focused on hitting those specific numbers that the instructor just yells at you so I don't like that and I would much prefer to ride to the beat of the music I love music I have a background in music so that's why the soul cycle was way more within my interest I also really really love a lot of the instructors that are on the soul cycle at home bike they are so motivating and they have really really great energy they pretty much translate exactly the same as in studio to digital and I love that I can still feel their energy and encourage encouragement even if I'm not there with them in person. Another pro is that their production of these videos are incredible. They look so professionally done. There's nothing shabby about how the set looks. I mean, it is just amazing. You do really feel like you are kind of in the studio without being in the studio. They also host live classes. So this is actually a new thing for them. Peloton also does this. They've done this for a while now, but SoulCycle just started reeling in live classes on their platform and it's been really, really cool. Just like any other online live classes, they shout out your name Name and kind of interact with you through the screen so it's really fun I'm gonna quickly go over some of the cons and one of the biggest thing that has hindered my experience was how the power meter keeps disconnecting and it's just annoying it's especially frustrating when you are really excited to read the stats at the end of the class and it didn't read anything because the power meter turned off or disconnected by itself so that's 
a little annoying, but you just have to reconnect it and I am hoping that they will fix this issue. I know that a lot of people in the community has complained about it, so hopefully they will do something to fix that issue. Another con is that there are other, some small technical glitches and stuff like that, like the screen after it upgrades, it just doesn't perform fast and then you have to like turn it off and then turn it on again, stuff like that, but I feel like that's pretty common with most workout equipment or any technology in general, so that doesn't really bother me. It doesn't happen too frequently where it would really upset me or anything like that. Another con is that if you do have carpet floors, then the bike is not as stable as it should be, I think, but it doesn't like topple over or anything. I have never gotten hurt like off of the biker, anything like that, but I do believe that the mat on the carpet, it doesn't have like a leveled floor, obviously. So it does kind of like shift a little bit when you're going a little crazy on the bike. So that's something to just keep in mind. A solution to that could be buying a slab of wood, to be honest, and putting it on the floor. You can buy those on Amazon, I believe, and put the mat on top of that. And I heard from other people that that has completely fixed the issue with the instability. I guess the last con that I wanted to mention is that there is a 12 month commitment to the app. I think it would be way better if they were more flexible flexible with the term, maybe even six months, I don't know, but I'm probably never going to stop using my SoulCycle bike, so it doesn't really matter to me, but I know for some people it might be a hindrance. Now that I got all of the details out of the way, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the SoulCycle bike and show you guys all the different features and how the bike looks. I quickly wanted to show you guys my TMs and I have two pairs like I said. These black ones were my first ever TM shoes. They are quite worn but I love them. They still look brand new because I only wear them indoors. They have Velcro straps which is great. This is what I was talking to you guys about. So it has the SPD clips instead of the Delta so as you can see the bottom is flat and you can still walk in them. I have just these plain black ones. I believe these were limited edition, but they're the gray with some pink accents, which I thought was super cute. Same thing with this, it has the SPD clips and they're awesome. I forgot to mention that there is one con about these. I think it's just SPD clips in general, but they do make a slight squeaking sound when you are riding the bike. So you just have to kind of get used to that and get over it. It's not too obnoxiously loud. It's just the nature of the SPD clips. It doesn't, it, it just makes that kind of squeaky noise sometimes. Okay, so this is my setup. I have the SoulCycle mat down there. This is $75, like I said. This is the overview of the bike. I have these three pound weights on the side from Amazon. Here is what the back looks like. I have the wire here. It connects to the power outlet. My power outlet is actually behind this yellow chair. It's pretty discreet, so I like it. But as you can see, the mat, it's just a little uneven. And that's because of the carpet floor. It's just so nice and pretty, I love it. This is the front, let me go over here. It has a pretty large screen and there is a power button on the side right here and it just turns on. That is the screen. It says, welcome back, Amy. There's some classes here, you can look through. You can go to like explore and look at all the different classes. You can go to for you. So we're at the home page, and if you go down, you can see that you can take all of these live classes and you can add them to your schedule on the app. You can save and bookmark some of these classes. You can favorite instructors can look at playlists and all of that good stuff. You can filter by level. I usually do intermediate. 
you can look at all of these classes. Okay, I totally forgot to film the outro to this video, so I'm just gonna do it right here really quick. If you guys have any other further questions about the Soul Cycle at Home bike, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely get back to you and answer them as soon as possible. I will list all the links to everything that I talked about in the description. Lastly, if you wanna help me grow my channel, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Bye.